Hello and uh, welcome back to our WandaVision uh, podcast. Today we're going to be, uh, well I'm going to be discussing episode 3, now in colour is what it's called. Um, so yes, yeah, so let's just get straight into it. So um, yeah, so we're uh, in episode 3, we're, we're, we're now in colour. Um, the sitcom it's representing is obviously the Brady Bunch. Uh, I did suspect that i think episode four is uh roseanne um so you know each episode is going to be representing a, a sitcom um i think that episode four will obviously be roseanne anyway this episode was there was a lot more going on here and it yeah we have to see what's the bigger picture but i think that a lot of these episodes they've got little stuff tucked away in what's exactly going on here so it's uh yeah it's interesting to say the least i'm very much um loving it to be fair i'm i'm really really liking it i know a lot of people uh don't tend to get it or don't know uh, or anything like that or they just don't get it um but yeah i totally get it i i, I understand what's going on here uh, I think my theory from the first podcast, where I said that uh, she has uh, created her own world, I believe that's exactly what's happened here, um, even more so now because of this episode. So she sort of created her own sort of television universe, because obviously uh, WandaVision, I mean um, Wanda's powers, or, or Scarlet Witch powers are... Um, they haven't really tapped into him in the MCU. Um, if you go over her um, her, her comic uh, character, um, she's massively powerful. I mean, I think she's powerful in this as well, but they're not tapping into her potential, and I think this may be the help to it. Um, we're gonna um, we're gonna um, sort of just go on now. So, yeah, in this one, she's obviously pregnant. And uh, the episode evolves around her getting pregnant very quick and uh, having twins. So that's the premise, the premise, I should say, of this episode is um, the Brady Bunch uh, and Wanda obviously getting pregnant and having her, her two twin boys, which, uh, to, by the way, are actual um, Marvel characters within their own right. So I don't know what's happening here. Uh, obviously, we see her give birth to him. We see the little boys as babies. Whether or not the next episode we're going to see them grown up or or not, uh, we'll, we'll see that when it comes to it. Whether they're still children or toddlers. Um, I'm expecting that this, they're toddlers at this point. Just because of how quick uh, through the whole episode she went from being pregnant to giving birth. Um, so, yeah. So, I would expect that there'd be toddlers in the next episode. But they are actually Marvel characters within their own right in the comic book. So, yeah, there's that. So, um, yeah, so we get that. Um, there's obviously lots going on here. Uh, the neighbours cutting the, uh, the, the the weirdest thing. So let's get on to some of the weird stuff. Because this episode was absolutely full of sort of weirdness. So um, the neighbour outside's cutting a bush, and he cuts. He's cutting into the wall, and it's like it's normal. Uh, it's like a normal behaviour, and Vision is sort of like, oh, "All right, you're right there," and he's like, "Yeah, yeah, sure." He's like just cutting through the wall, as you do when you're chopping a a bush, and you don't know you're cutting through a wall. Um, could that mean something? Like I said, I think a lot of the stuff going on. Uh, throughout the whole thing, I think is um, yeah, I think a lot of stuff like like that is a sort of what's going on. Are they trying? Is that like a reference to them trying to uh, break through? Um, it could be, it could be. I, 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 I'd like to think it is. And there's like little little references like this, uh, like the um, like the doctor. Um, we see him in this one. He's going to Bermuda. Uh, there's a lot of little references now. I've seen online as well. They've they've sort of referenced um, agents of Shield. Um, 
So I, I, I've watched that, but I don't know if a lot of people have. Um, it's also available actually on Disney Plus, which is good. Um, but the advert in this episode talks about Hydra soap. Uh, in an episode of Agents of Shield, when they sort of lose their their mind or not mind, or they go they they sort of go their separate ways. Um, they find Coulson, and he was talking about um, Hydra back in the day creating a sort of um like a hallucinogenic soap so that could be that down to that also as well the the reference to where the, the doctor says that he's going to bermuda uh that's another reference actually to uh agents of shield and where colson was or wants to be sent or something like that uh to bermuda um it's sort of like a dreamy thing so could there be a reference there um, anyway, going on further on into the episode, we, we obviously encounter um, some really... Now, <clears throat> the glitch in this episode, now, that got me. That really got me, because I, <laughs> I went back a few times. I actually rewound the <laughs> the episode, because I thought I would miss something. So there's a bit there where Vision um, realises that there's there's something going on here, and... He sort of just looks around and says, it doesn't feel right. It doesn't, it, you know, there's something going on here. Don't you feel it? There's something wrong. And um, and then it glitches. It sort of goes back to him standing up again. And uh, I, now the, it wasn't like before where, where Wanda said no and it rewound. It was like a glitch. And I thought... Hang on, right, so it's either skipped or um, it's um, or it's buffered or something like that. I thought that's what I thought. So I went back twice. I did this. I went back and I thought, no, saying it's what's happening, <laughs> um, uh, and then realising it is actually part of the episode. Um, but yeah, obviously Wanda is keeping. I, I I believe that she's created this world. I also believe that she's keeping certain stuff from everyone, including Vision. Um, and we get more about that actually in this episode. So, um, the, one of the neighbors comes round and she's trying to, um, sort of, um, not show that she's pregnant because, you know, it's this, this has probably only been like a week and she's fully pregnant and ready to give birth. And, um, anyway, she gives birth the, the, we, we know, I think, I think she's the agent for uh, sword and um anyway um she's there and then um obviously Wanda gives birth and they're like twins and then Wanda says you know I was a twin and uh starts um singing to the babies and the, the lady next to him the lady next to her shall I say this this agent which I I, I would say she's one of the neighbors anyway um sort of says that she was that he was um that he was killed by Ultron. Well, you know that is a sort of a red flag. I don't don't ever say that because um why this is happen um, um she gets obviously mad and says what did she say and she sort of backtracks and goes no I, you know I said nothing don't worry about it no I never said anything. Wanda obviously gets annoyed by this, um, but outside at the same time the neighbours are trying to repair the wall that he cut through and the other neighbour is there as well and he wants to say something but the other neighbour's like no don't and they're like do you know who this lady is and where she lives she doesn't live here and um she just appears and vision is sort of what, what's you know what's um what's going on here like saying you know and they're trying to tell him, but not tell him. They're not trying to let on. And then she just goes, um, I, I, what, you know, Vision's starting to wonder what's going on here. Um, when she, he goes back into the room, we see that she's not there anymore with the other person. It's just Wanda there. And then apparently she had to go. She had to catch a flight or something like that, I think she says. I can't remember now. Um, then we see her sort of, being thrown through the air with the um the uh the red 
the red sort of cloud things around her. So Wanda's obviously thrown her and she gets pushed outside Westview, which is where it's based, and out of the bubble, lands in this field that's then surrounded by military personnel, helicopters, all that sort of stuff. And it's a dome. And so like this is what I was saying. So this goes back to uh, what I was saying before in um, that she's created this world and they're trying to get in and that was her that was their way of trying to get into her um now i don't i don't know i don't think they know if someone's making her do this or whether she's doing it herself and i think that's what they were trying to i think that's what they're trying to get whether someone's doing this to her making her do this or whether she's doing it herself and i think actually she's um i think actually she's doing it herself um, which leads me on to some of the theories online now. So um, one of the theories is she's actually the main villain in this. Uh, I don't know. I, I, I kind of try to get that a little bit because um, we know that she's going to be in um, the uh, Doctor Strange film. And we also know that that is um, that the Doctor Strange film is... Um, like a horror film it's their first marvel cinematic horror film we know she's going to be in that so maybe she is i mean there is there is emphasis there for for that in when anyone brings up the outside world or something happens to bring it up she's the one that sort of corrects it even vision which makes me think like what's what's happening here you know i i can't wait well, there's still there's still i think there's still um there's still five weeks left, five or six weeks left of this um, as well. So th there's lots to go over. Uh, the sitcom element I like, actually, and I think it's really good. But I think the mystery of what's going on is getting more deeper. And it's definitely draw, draw, drawing me in uh, as, a, as a viewer and a fan to what exactly is going on here. Obviously, they've released another trailer, which shows a lot more going on. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I'm interested to see what, what actually is going on here. And I can't wait for the next episode, episode four. Um, yeah, so, uh, my theory for episode four, like I said, I think it's Roseanne just by, uh, the hairstyles and stuff like that. Though this episode was, um, the, um, this episode was, um, the Brady Bunch, which also had the stairs, which was nice touch. Um, I was watching it with my wife, and my wife said, actually, it's got a little bit of um, Bewitched in there as well. <coughs> Sorry. So, um, yeah, maybe maybe, maybe there's something cross over there. You know, we, we should, I'd like to know, you know, the answers are going to be there, if you know what I mean. I, but as we go along, but like I said, I think the, the adverts that are played are a part of what's going on. Little... Little little things that are going on in the background, stuff like that. like the neighbor cutting through uh, the wall. Now is that them? Is that symbolising someone trying to cut through? Um, the fact that she doesn't want anyone to know or sense what's going on. Also, as well, are they keeping everything from Vision because they want to say something but they can't? Um, so. Are the characters what she's made? Are they or are they people that want to keep stuff? You know, I don't, I don't really know. There's a lot. There's a lot of mystery, which is really what she which is what she, um which is which drawing me in. If you know what I mean, which, you know drawing me in. Um, but ultimately, I, I I'm really really liking the series at the moment. Really quite well, actually. I really like it. Um, remember, um, if you're listening to this through, uh, Anchor, you can send me a message. I can play it on the next podcast if you like, um, and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, anyway, uh, thank you for listening, um, for me to waddle on about an episode. <laughs> um, and, uh, we'll see you at the next episode and the next podcast.